ਮੇਰਾ ਨਾਮ ਹੈ ਤਰਨਜੋਤ ਸਿੰਘ ਵਿਨਿੰਗ ਤੇ ਮੈਂ ਹਾਂ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਨਵਾਂ ਹੋਸਟ ਸਟੈਂਪਸ ਟੀਵੀ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਹਾਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਪੁੱਛਦੇ ਹੋਵੋਗੇ ਕਿ ਸਟੈਂਪਸ ਟੀਵੀ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਇਹ ਕਿੱਥੋਂ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਹੋਇਆ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਅੱਜ ਸਾਡਾ ਪਹਿਲਾ ਐਪੀਸੋਡ ਸਟੈਂਪਸ ਟੀਵੀ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਹੈ ਇਹ ਨਵਾਂ ਅਪਰਾਲਾ ਕੈਲਗਰੀ ਸਟੈਂਪ ਰੀਡਰਸ ਨੇ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਕੀਤਾ ਤੇ ਆਓ ਆਪਾਂ ਮਿਲਾਉਂਦੇ ਆ ਮਾਈਕਾ ਆਓ ਨਾਲ ਮੇਰਾ ਨਾਮ ਹੈ ਮਾਈਕਾ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਸੋ ਵੀ ਗੈਟ ਸਟਾਰਟਡ ਆ ਆਬਵੀਅਸਲੀ ਯੂ ਬੀਇੰਗ ਆਫ ਨਾਈਜੀਰੀਅਨ ਡਿਸੈਂਟ ਆ ਯਰ ਫਰਸਟ ਫਰਸਟ ਸੀਜ਼ਨ ਇਨ ਕੈਲਗਰੀ ਹਾਸ ਹੈਪਨ ਸੋ ਫਾਰ ਇਟਸ ਬੀਨ ਗ੍ਰੇਟ ਆਈ ਮੀਨ ਆਈ ਕੈਨ ਕੈਨ ਰੀਲੀ ਕੰਪਲੇਨ ਓ I uh, I've always watched this defense from far, you know, when I first came in the yep. league, uh, Alex Singleton was the linebacker mm-hmm. and my first start was here on this field <laughs> and uh I think Calgary remembers that in 2017. I'm not going to talk about it. <laughs> But um it was it was fun and now I mean being on this team, it's a great organization, 17 winning seasons yep. and um that's not going to change. So, yep. yeah, so even even with that now on to the fourth game, you lead the CFL in uh tackle so how's that uh, upping your game at this level yeah, yeah. Uh, being a CFL vet I mean I I work hard in off season mm-hmm. um it, I'm not surprised uh, I was the leading tackler in when I was at Big 12 in yeah. Texas Tech um so it's just something that I feel like it's it's my standard um I want to make more plays more interceptions more sacks and help the team to win so that's my main goal the better I can be the better the team can be mm-hmm. so obviously I touched a little bit of you being of a Nigerian descent and obviously born in Nigeria then came to the US uh how how's that been obviously you know being an immigrant family i know uh education is such a big thing oh, so <laughs> touch touch on that a little bit oh, i know you're man, a petroleum I'm, engineer so yeah yeah so yeah, i'm a petroleum engineer but it was yeah. a, it's a long journey um <laughs> being yeah. an immigrant um my i remember my first ever experience with football was uh 7th mm-hmm. grade ah, and yep, in 7th cool. grade uh we were on the field right about here at the 50 and um they just lined us up in a line and um there was a coach at the end and he would just point this way or that way. And I start, you know, I started looking mm-hmm. and I realized the kids to the left look a little, <laughs> little, 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 little better. And the kids to the right, mm, not so much. I'm like, oh, of course I'm going to be the kid to the left and I get to the coach and he goes to the right. Yeah, like, there you go. And then now I started off on D team and um I cried to my dad <laughs> on the way home and he picked me up from practice and I didn't know why I was crying. He didn't know why I was crying, but I just knew like this is not good being at the very bottom and that was my first experience of uh football cuz no one else in my community really played it. Mm-hmm. I was the first one and um my my parents were always about like education so they're like sports sports is supposed to be a hobby like you don't play sports for a living so <laughs> I just had to keep getting better and better until I got a scholarship mm-hmm. and um even then when I got a scholarship and I forget I called my dad. I was like, "Hey dad, I got a scholarship to Texas Tech." <laughs> and he was like, "Okay." <laughs> and hanged up. And he didn't realize they paid for yeah, my yeah. school, and that's when everything changed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, education is yeah. number one in immigrant yeah. families. Oh, yeah. So yeah, obviously I have to keep that on the pedestal. Yes, yeah. And then obviously like now we're doing sports talk, mm-hmm. so it's kind of it's kind of weird if you like tie that in with the immigrant family, mm-hmm. but that's what we're trying to cater to uh, with Stamps TV Punjabi. We're trying to showcase the CFL, mm-hmm. how diverse it is. Obviously, you have people from all different backgrounds. So, how has that playing in the CFL been for you uh, with uh, people? from all types of backgrounds. Oh, it's awesome. I mean, I have my my one of my my closest linebacker friends. He's not here right now, but Lino, he was from Germany. Um, I've had uh Tyron Verde from Ottawa. He's from uh Holland or something. I'll, I forget. He's going to be mad at me. But um <laughs> uh but like I just love I mean Toshi here from Japan and um man, there's so many when you play with global people, you realize how powerful sports is. Mm-hmm. You know, sports it's it's all the same it's the same language yep you go on the field and you have to make the tackle that's a language you have to make the catch that's a language but it's the same language no matter where you played it from so it's been awesome and even playing in Canada i mean i didn't know the cfl existed until my agent called me and <laughs> said hey the Saskatchewan Rough Riders and DC Lions are interested i was like you said what Saskatchewan and then now i'm up here and i know you know we're playing you know the Rough Riders next week and you know so it's it's just it's awesome to have all that diversity So obviously now that you're a CFL vet, uh obviously been been kind of meddling in the CFL for quite a while. Uh it kind of explain what that's been for like people that may not know much about the CFL. Obviously if people of the Punjabi community watching this like what have you learned in the CFL obviously like playing for so long? Like what like one one little thing that stood out to you? I think the biggest thing is you know I was in Tampa Bay uh, when I came out of Texas Tech and you know I was in an NFL organization. and the first day when i was with bc lions um i met my athletic trainer and i met the equipment staff and the first day we're stretching and all of them are out there giving me water i'm like wait aren't you our equipment manager <laughs> <laughs> giving yeah. me water and you know one thing about the cfl it's very close knit it's very tight and i i just really 
I really hope they promote us players because to be able to communicate with us is rare. Like I, I grew up in Dallas my whole life. Mm -hmm. I never met a Dallas Cowboy player. But here in Calgary, I mean, we're, we're humble players. You know, we, we really love interacting with the fans mm -hmm. and it's not easy to always get access in professional sports, but in the CFL, that's the biggest advantage they have is that yep. we're accessible to everyone out in the mm -hmm. community. So I, I love that about the CFL. Yeah, you touched uh, being accessible in the community. Uh, I learned that you did an interview with the Punjabi Network as well. How yep. was that? How was that? Oh, it's incredible. It was incredible. <laughs> I mean, I, it, honestly, what I love about it is like, I'm just telling my story, yep. but it's almost exactly the same story everyone is watching. Yeah, yeah. I mean, my parents, born in Nigeria. I was born in Nigeria. We came to this country with this thing called football. Yeah, exactly. And now, I mean, if you ask my dad now, he, he, knows, <laughs> he knows everything about football. Yep. He thinks, he, you know, my mom even knows more about football. <laughs> but when we first started, it was like, all we know is soccer, but yep. it's, it's evolved. And now our whole mm -hmm. community, because I played football and now I'm a professional. Yep. And everyone, everyone's kid is playing football yeah. because they, hey, be like Micah, be like Micah. Yeah. So it, it's, it's incredible. I love it. It just starts with that seed and it goes so far. Yeah. 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 So obviously, uh, now that we're on to the fourth game, what are you looking forward to in the next game on Friday? Man, I'm, I'm just excited to see our, our project, trajectory. I'm, I'm, man, there's, we have some new guys coming in, and we have some guys like me who are you know, new, but now we're becoming old, and we're getting – I feel like we're just getting our footing. You know, uh, mm -hmm. the Saskatchewan game was a tough one, um, but it was one that we needed. Um, they were a good team, and we need to know how to beat good teams. Mm -hmm. And that's what I love about the sports of football is because – I can only do my best. I can only control what I can do. Mm -hmm. And then eventually, you know, everyone else is going to do their best. And now it's just like, hey, you, you focus on you. You focus on getting the team better and everyone gets better. And then that's what you get, you know, you cry about when you get the championship <laughs> one day because yeah. it's hard work. It's not easy, but that's life. You just got to mm -hmm. keep going. Yeah, so one final question. Have you tried any Indian food at all? You guys, zoom in, zoom in. <laughs> you guys are looking at the Indian food connoisseur. I absolutely, I was gonna tell you before the interview, I love Indian food. If I can get a sponsorship, <laughs> you don't understand. I love naan, I love vegetables. Oh wow, samosas. yeah, there you go. I, I'm a tikka chicken masala kind of guy, but butter chicken's good too. It depends <laughs> on who's making it, but oh my gosh. That's everything for Stamps Team Punjabi. Agli episode to